Oh, there we go. A whole lot of similar oil. Hey, going? My name's Terence, and welcome back to Rusted Iron Ranch. Uh, today, we're going to get back onto the Inter. I haven't touched it for a couple of weeks now. Um, as you've seen, I've had a couple other projects that I've been uh, getting some work done on, and um, yeah, a couple that you haven't as well. So, today, what I want to get done um, is the diff oil. So I want to drop both diff oils and fill them back up. I bought some diff oil the other week. Um, I got some Golf Western Gear Lube 85 weight 140 um, and a pump. So we'll fill it up with that. Um, and they don't seem to be leaking. Um, they never have really dripped, um, although I haven't driven it. So I. I can assume once I start driving it, um, it might produce some sort of leaks, but I'd rather some good um, oil in there first, so then um, we don't do any damage. Uh, if we get that done, um, it shouldn't be too hard. I might have a look at, um, not gonna make any promises, but I might have a look at trying to get this um, rear brake line uh, on. So this is the one that goes, um, from the T-piece in behind the left-hand rear wheel across the diff to your right-hand rear wheel. Now, when I took it off, um, it bent a fair bit and I forgot to tell the shop um, that it didn't actually have to kind of follow the one that I gave them. So, fingers crossed I can bend this to the shape it needs to be because they literally bent it nearly exactly what I gave them, which wasn't right. Um, so yeah, probably my fault there. Um, and hopefully it's long enough. I remember it did twist off this end, um, but it was very, very close to the um, wheel cylinder. So I think it should be right. So if we get our diff oils done, um, I might try and put that on, um, or at least run it roughly, um, because I still do need to do um, a fair bit of brake line cleaning. So I might not even get to that. I might just um, kind of mock it up and, um, yeah, see if I can get it to fit, but we won't be hooking it up. Okay, so what we'll do, um, I've got some, uh, got a tub to drain into, um, grab a couple of rags and we'll start draining this oil. Cleaned out the um, the drain bung. Uh, I can see the fill one already, and they're actually hex. So I thought they might be half inch drive. Uh, so I'm gonna have to have a look and see if I have. I might have one of the tools. If not, I might have to find a bolt and a couple of nuts to lock on, and uh, yeah, try and make a tool. So I'll just uh, see if I've got something, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I found um, this 14mm Unbreaker Allen key, which I remembered I had, um, and I wondered why that I had one this big, and I reckon this is why, because this fits perfectly. And now it won't be 14mm, what would that be? Um, is it like 9 16 or something like that? 9 or 11 16 um, So it's probably not exactly the right one. Um, but it works, so um, I might just see if I can get the... Yep, the fill is going to come undone really easy. That's good. Pretty gross. I don't know if you can see that, but that is uh, pretty disgusting. It's um, nearly muddy looking. I might, um, while that's 
draining. Might clean off this bung, take the other one off, and I might even spray some greaser in there because um, that's really bad. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Okay, so we have um, drained our oil, I've degreased out the uh, housing, I've cleaned up our bungs. Uh, I believe that one's probably the bottom, it's got a little bit more damage on it. Uh, just going to put some black RTV on the thread of the bung. I believe these are probably a tapered thread anyway, so they should seal pretty well. Although, I really like Black RTV. So, I might as well just use it. That's pretty tight. Impact's for good measure. diff done now on to the front okay so we're into the front now and we've got the Dana 44 up the front uh, now I do remember reading some Dana 44s don't have a drain plug um, I was hoping it was like Jeep ones or something like that um, and it wasn't this particular one but it seems to be that this one doesn't have a drain plug so um, I was hoping to not have to pull the front cover off, but I think I'm now going to have to, which isn't the end of the world. Um, I was only gonna seal it with RTV anyway. Um, whether or not that's the right thing to do, we'll find out. Um, but yeah, we are gonna have to take this front cover off to dump the oil in the first place. So um, I might grab the oil bucket, grab some sockets and we'll start getting this cover off um, and try not to make a massive mess. where you've got very little movement, really easy. Okay, so our diff cover is nice and clean, inside and out. I've cracked the, um, the fill plug. Um, I've cleaned our bolts, um, and the tag does say 488, which we knew that anyway. Uh, we've gone ahead and cleaned the housing. Um, so I've used the um, gasket scraper around the outside, thoroughly degreased. Um, the pinion angle, angle uh, ugh, let me start that again. The pinion angle on these diffs, the pinion angle on these diffs 
um, is really low, um, which means the oil pulls down the back, which would make you think that it would have a um, fill plug, but for some reason it doesn't. Um, so I actually had to use the gasket scraper as like a paddle and paddle some of that oil back. So there will be a little bit of residual oil sitting in the back there, but um, hopefully it shouldn't be too much. And once I do start driving this, I will dump these oils again. These are just to um, top it up with some nice new oil um, and just to, to clean it once it starts moving um, and make sure it is lubricated. So uh, I'll set you back up. Um, we'll RTV this cover and we'll set it on there and we'll fill it back up with oil. Our front Dana 44 diff oil changed. Um, so unfortunately, uh, it didn't have a drain plug, and we had to take that front cover off. But it meant that I got to seal it anyway, um, which probably wasn't the worst thing. Okay, well there you have it. There's the front diff done. Um, so both our diffs now um, have their oil change. Like I said, this is just a preemptive oil change. Um, once I start driving it, I will change it again. This is just so that I know that the oil in there is good and is going to provide good lubrication once it starts moving. Uh, unfortunately, we probably won't get to the brakes today. A um, little bit more to do on that. Although, I would like you to comment down below of what you think I should do to the tray. Um, so that's not limited to colour as well. So I'm really not sure what to do. The white, I don't think suits it now. Um, I think I did mention in another video, I thought I might like to do it red. Um, and I am going to be changing this headboard, going with a uh, wood slats across, and then probably a mesh inside a um, bent um, pipe, like bent tube across following the, um, the cab line. So that's what the headboard idea is. Check a plate, check a plate for the um, actual tray, but I don't know what color, and I don't know really what to do with the back end. So if you've got any ideas, comment down below. Let me know what you think I should do. Um, maybe even cream, I don't know. Like the, the ABs have um, the cream dash, and they've got the cream, cream fiberglass front, um, grill so i think the cream could look okay as well we could go with like a black red and cream theme um the other thing is i don't want it to look like stand out too much as well so um if i could have got some sort of real i don't know faded red color um or i just go black or i'm not sure even like an undercoat color really not sure um so if you've got any ideas let me know
Okay, so if you like this video, um, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Um, once again, my name's Terence. This has been Rusted Iron Ranch. Thanks for watching. Oh, get you. Oh, get you.